wasn't that hard to understand that they were lying under oath when I listened to the tapes. You know, but I'm the conspiracy kook. Oh, I'm a nut. Go ahead. I I love the fact that these guys just put Biden on the spot in front of a bunch of average Joes in this alley setting with Secret Service around. And uh, it's just it's a great hit to show the people these people are lying their butts off. And it shows that we all have great power. I love We Are Change. If you want to start an organization, you want to join one, dan at wearechange.org. We'll be back after this, taking your calls. Jesse Ventura on Torture. It's the Info Warrior. All right, folks, we are going to go to Derek, Mark, Ray, Adam, and more. But first, I want to play this clip. It's about three and a half minutes of an old school Arnis whooping handed out by the man, the myth, the legend, Jesse Ventura. Someone's getting a hassle backing. Hit it. I know your mind is uh, pretty made up about waterboarding, correct? You were waterboarded as part of your, uh, part of your Navy yeah. SEAL training, correct? Well, it wasn't part of Navy SEAL training. It was part of what they call SEER school, yes. survival, escape, resistance, evasion. It's, yep. a, it's a school they required you to go to prior to the combat zone of Vietnam. And yes, we were all waterboarded there, and yes, it is torture. What do you think about Nancy Pelosi in terms of what she has been claiming I, with the CIA lying well, to you? I think what's Congress? worse is this, the fact that it happened. If, if we hadn't waterboarded to begin with, none of this would be a controversy, would it? If we hadn't and waterboarded... And torture, wait, torture is torture. If you're going to be a country that follows the rule of law which we are, torture is illegal. But these were specifically approved techniques with KSM, approved okay? Who? Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, the information we extracted from him before waterboarding was zip. Afterward, no, he released no. the information. all of it before waterboarding. Yes. This was a case and that was used the three times. The point is this, <laughs> all right, wait a minute. If waterboarding is okay... Do you want me to put that, you wait, hole, Nelson? Wait, if waterboarding... No. If waterboarding's okay, then why don't we let our police do it to suspects so they can learn what they know? If waterboarding's okay, why didn't we waterboard McVeigh and Nichols, the Oklahoma City bombers, to find out if there were more people well, what's involved? What's your answer to that? Why didn't we? Why we didn't did. We? Well, I don't what know. Is, we only seem. Pro- we we only seem to waterboard Muslims. Mm. Well, well, that's an extreme well, what are the things that is this kind of situation? Have we waterboarded anyone else? Name we someone else we've waterboarded. Well, one of the things that's coming out now is that they were waterboarding them to get a connection between Iraq and Al-Qaeda. And that the reason they waterboarded was to get information about so that they could justify their invasion of what Iraq. You, what do you think is going to happen How does that work into your theory that on how the great theory. it is? Look, I'm not saying it's great, okay? I'm not saying, hey, everybody, let's go next door and get waterboarded. I'm, I'm concerned right now about Nancy Pelosi. Pelosi, who was supposedly briefed as it's been. She's lying. She lied. All right. Okay. okay. She lied. She's they want, her out, lying now. They want now. her out now, right? Because she lied? Sure. Well, <laughs> why didn't they ask for Bush and, Bush and Cheney to go out when they lied about why we went into Iraq? Senator Clinton. Senator Clinton. Hillary Clinton was right there with them. As the we're point getting is, okay, nothing's going to happen one. because they're all involved. Yeah. The Dems and Repubs yeah. are both involved. Yeah. That's yeah. why President Obama's backing off from it, and, 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 and they're not going to do it now. It's a good thing I'm not the president. I'm an independent, because I would prosecute the people who did it, I would prosecute the people who ordered it, and they would all go to would jail. Would you prosecute President Obama in the future going backwards when he ordered the killing of the Somali pirates? I mean, you have to think about no, because everything the that's Somali pirates is that's apples and oranges. Do you You're think not that, talking about, about someone in custody who is supposedly under... Okay, how would we feel? Look how outraged we were when waterboarding was done to our vets in Vietnam. Amen. Where do you think that's we right. learned it from? Right. And we created the Hanoi Hilton right in Guantanamo. Mm. That's our Hanoi Hilton. People have died there. People are tortured there. I'm ashamed if of are, my country. People aren't basing all those extremists are not basing their behaviors on ours. I, I can guarantee that they are out it to get us. No should we what. stoop to their level? Look, we no. Have, we we should be above them. Mm. Absolutely, torture is wrong. Torture is wrong. But enhanced interrogation Enhanced interrogation is Dick Cheney changing a word. Wow. Yes. Well, Dan Cheney yeah, comes up with a new word to cover his well, ass. You come up with a new word. <laughs> All right, there it is. You know, I, I just love the Ventura really just giving it to that piece of filth, demonic woman. I mean, folks, 
She is so disingenuous. See, she would like to prosecute the Democrats for the same things the Republicans have done. And not even the same things. I mean, the Somali pirate issue, just like he said, is a totally separate one. But she's like, Nancy Pelosi. You know, Jesse Ventura isn't pro-Pelosi. So I don't know what she's talking about. He said he would hold trials right now and hold all those who tortured and ordered the torture accountable. <laughs> Bravo, Mr. Ventura. That, that is the correct answer. Correct, sir. And, uh, you know, just stunning news that Hirsch is saying that Buto, you know, was killed because she was talking about the assassination of Osama bin Laden, saying if people knew bin Laden was dead, they wouldn't want to be in Afghanistan any further. And we know this administration wants to stay in Afghanistan as long as they're in power. They want to create this Eurasian Union. We've seen a redistribution of forces from Iraq into Afghanistan, but we're not getting out of Iraq either. I promise you that. All right, let's go to Derek in Massachusetts. Derek, you're on the line. Hey, what's going on, man? How you doing? Good, man. How you doing? All right, good, man. I was just watching the news, and we were watching about this chip over here, you know, about something that could kill you instantly, something about in Germany. What's going on with that? I don't know if you heard about that. Yeah, no, we did. Uh, we just reported on it about 15 minutes ago, but... Uh... There's three major chip stories out there right now. Verichip is saying that the chip is great for you, and they're going to have this bio trip with sensors and receptors, and it'll be able to figure out, you know, what's wrong with you and profile you and figure out what medications you need. Excuse me. Um, then there's the Saudi Arabian chip that's being developed out of Germany, which has a small amount of cyanide in it and a GPS tracker system. And if they say, uh-uh, naughty, naughty, they hit the GPS tracker system, the cyanide is released, and you are dead. And then the final piece of chip news this week is that they've brought the lovely little microchip down from 11 millimeters, the size of a grain of rice, to slightly smaller than the size of a grain of rice at 8 millimeters, cutting it by about 30% or so. All lovely little stories. I, I can't wait to get my cyanide chip. I don't know about you, Derek. Yeah, so basically that's just like another scheme for them to try to, you know, make us want to get the chip or something. Well, the thing is with this cyanide chip, my man, they're, they're not saying it's coming out of the United States. They're demonizing Saudi Arabia, but they're putting it into the public consciousness that, hey, we might do this in the future for criminals or perhaps you if you get out of line with the state. You know, again, it's not coming out of the United States, so there's not that much of an uproar. But the evil Saudis will put cyanide in their chip. Meanwhile, our chip is to help save us and love us. Yeah, let's go get those chips then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Derek, I thank uh, you for the call. Have a great one. You too. Let's go to a Mark in Wisconsin. Mark, you're on the air. Hey, Jason. I uh, just wanted to let you know I sent that uh, info over there uh, to you on your MySpace. Um, so uh, hopefully I can get you know more than uh, one of me updating the uh, you know seven load account for you guys, and I have everything organized in the folders. Hopefully it's going to be just a bomb of information, uh, easily categorized and everything for everybody to access, just bam, right there. So Excellent. that's what I want to do with that. Um, other than that, uh, on the Jesse Ventura thing, that was ridiculous. I absolutely loved hearing that. Um, I, uh, I, I couldn't have said much better myself, to be perfectly honest. He made a great point. You know, yeah, if waterboarding is, uh, you know, such such a worthwhile technique, and if it's so humane and decent, then why aren't we, in, you know, interrogating normal uh you know, people for, you know, suspects and other crimes. Why don't, why don't police do this in precincts? I mean, we're talking about things that have been done under the extreme conditions of warfare. We're not talking about regular, everyday, you know, speaking, you know, interrogation practices. We're talking hardcore stuff. Absolutely. I mean, I, I thought he made great points, and, uh, you know, I would agree with him. I mean, you know, it's not like... It's not like I don't like the place I live. I, you know, I love the place I live, and uh, I love the, you know, I love the ideas of the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, and I have no problem with the residents of this country. But I am ashamed of what you know the system is has become. How could you not be if you have that on your shoulders and know what's going on today? Um, but uh, that's about all I wanted to get in. Just wanted to let you know about that. And um, other than that, man, uh, thanks again, and uh, I'm sure I'll talk to you soon. All right, thanks, Mark. Let's go to Ray in Illinois. Ray, you're on the air. Hi, how you doing? Good. Hey, uh, on a somewhat related note, on a somewhat related note on censorship, um, just found this out tonight. Um, for any of the users that are on Facebook, if you post anything about Infowars, it's automatically uh, deleted. What do you think about that? Well, is that true? I mean, are you getting that? Yeah, I'm posting my status updates, links to Infowars.